this is when things get real in the Europa League. It is time for the final, and there can be only one winner. Who's it going to be? We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It's Manchester United, and they take on Mainz. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. The lineup for Manchester United. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Here's the initial 11 for Mainz. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Couldn't quite muster a real threat. Anthony. Well, he's a player who just seems to get better and better. I'm talking, of course, about Bruno Fernandes. Stuart, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, he's a fantastic striker of the ball. He can generate so much pace. And when he strikes it cleanly, the ball starts to dip and swirl on its way to the goalkeeper, which is why he needs to be closed down quickly today. On to Juan Bissaka. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Hanke Olsen. Philip Mwene. Andreas Schulberg, Hanke Olsen. Fernandes. Defending to stop a decent looking attack. Here's one Bisaka. Sufian Amrabat. Well, they keep the ball moving. United might be able to cash in. Well, uh, you've got to savour such moments. Very quick thinking there. The cross is on. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Sylvan Hidmer. And Lee Jae Sung with it. Jay Sung. An alert piece of defending. It's a fine United move in the making. Bruno Fernandes has it. Time is up as far as the first half is concerned here in Marseille.
So back underway here into the second half. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. He's using his strength to good effect. Oh, but they've lost it now. Plenty of support here. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Well, I can't believe he's missed the target there. That's a poor finish. to Van Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes has it. Casemiro. More than decent this from United. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. It's going to be United's free kick. And a substitution in the offing. tackle that was needed Amiri oh wonderful bit of skill well, advantage with them referee says play on how about the cross well it's all about passing as they try to hit the front Cleared away, but at the expense of a corner. Here's a change for Manchester United. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Was it a great clearance? how to keep the opposition at bay Fernandes Barreiro a quarter of an hour remaining here Sack van der Bear. Leandro Barreiro. Richter. Can they grab the lead late on? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Amiri. And a very good challenge. And did well to keep hold of it while waiting for the support to arrive. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Diogo Dano. Anthony. Diogo Dallo on the ball. It's with Martinez. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Tomane. 
that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up as the first period of extra time begins. An effective challenge. Kraus. Andreas Schulberg, Hanke Olsen. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? time tackle here's Juan Bissaka it's with McTominay Mount good work to win the ball back by United Fernandes Marco Richter. Pereira. Moving the ball forward. How creative can they be? And there the move ends for now. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. An example of how to press. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. drama continues to unfold second period of extra time now now he must favor the cross But he's gone short with it. And angling it back. Superbly read and executed. Sandro Martinez. Here's Juan Bissaka. It's with Martinez. And pressing from the front. Options in the middle. Let's take the lead here. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. So after 90 minutes and then extra time. An even picture in this Europa League final, and a penalty shootout will follow. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Well, that was the so called Panenka, but when it doesn't work out, oh dear. And it's gone in. Can he remain calm? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And that's how to take a penalty. Low and into the back of the net. And there it is. Perfectly executed. And he's beaten the keeper. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And he scores! A 
And he's opted for finesse, but he might be wishing he hadn't. And confidently converts it. He wants a pressure cooker. This is it. He must score. Job done from the spot. Can he keep his cool? Oh, a superb save. A goal here to finish it. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. is the next order of business the walk up the ramp towards the Europa League trophy well you have to say it's a great achievement for the club and all these players for a captain it's a moment you do not take for granted the Europa League winners put so much into this campaign and now they have their reward